In this short video, we'll show how to use anomaly detection to set validation parameters in a pipeline and track the outputs from a sample model to verify that the model is outputting the acceptable results. Now we'll use the house price model as an example and I've already created my workspace and uploaded the sample model and established a pipeline as and added my model as a step. I've also deployed this in the production again, just to save us a couple of seconds in this short video. Now what we will do is we'll create a validation for house prices over $350,000. And we'll use the add validation method to accomplish this. Now once that's done, we want to test this. So we're going to test it with two data points. One will trigger the anomaly, the other one won't. So we'll start with the normal one. And so this won't trigger the anomaly for us. And so we can see the output here is 131,000 and no check failures. The second one does. And so this is $395,000 and that triggers the anomaly. So this is great. This means that our validation is working and everything is okay. Next, what we want to do is run our inferences against the largest set of data to identify anomalies that appear versus our expected results. And so we'll run multiple tests here. And this might take a little bit longer when you're running it, just because you have a larger data set. What we'll also do is plot the output in a, in a graph so that we can visualize the anomaly output here as well. And so in a couple of steps, we can see that output and that distribution of house prices. And we can see here on the right hand side, this is our house that is 395,000. Now that is one method of checking for anomalies. The second method that you can view anomalies is through the pipeline logs method. And what we'll do here is we're using an arrow enabled. And what that will do is it will output anomalies in a table format for us. And we can see here that yes, we have our output 395,000 and our check failures. So in a couple of minutes, we've seen two quick and easy methods for anomaly detection with a minimal amount of code so that we can validate the parameters in our pipeline and then track the output of our model and verify that we are getting the outputted acceptable results. Thank you very much.